Greetings all, this is Meg Zertigliano on behalf of Quantum Networks. I'm here with Ira Wolf, President and Chief Googleization Officer of Success Performance Solutions and author of Recruiting in the Age of Googleization, When the Shift Hits Your Plan. Thank you so much for taking time with us today, Ira. Oh, it's my absolute pleasure. Pre appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here. What a great topic. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. So you've made the point that disruption has become the new normal and that disruption can be your friend or your kryptonite. So what advice do you have for disruptive leaders and organizations that are trying to drive change? So I'm not sure disruptive leaders actually recognize kryptonite. You know, I mean, kryptonite is probably the people who are trying to go back to normal or maintain the status quo, <laughs> but ignoring that it exists, ignoring that there are pitfalls and vulnerabilities and challenges. Uh, a lot of people have great ideas and they sort of, uh, they pursue them with abandon and I don't want to negate that or I don't want to stifle anybody or harness all that energy and passion and motivation and vision that they have. But without a plan, um, the, the, the kryptonite becomes the, the disruption without a plan and, and people get derailed and they go down rabbit holes and they lose sight of, of, of all the challenges and the vulnerabilities that exist. So I, you know, again, I, I think status quo, um, you know, people who want the status quo or want to go back to normal, that's their kryptonite. But for disruptors, they do it naturally, but uh, you, you do need a plan. You do need a yeah. strategy. Good to have a plan and a strategy. And if leaders and organizations, like you said, can either shift or get shifted, and what do you think, Ira, makes the difference between being in the driver's seat or being just a passenger? You know, I use the, it was my TED talk and I wrote about it in my book. Uh, I, I talk about VUCA, V-U-C-A, which is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And I didn't come up with that acronym. I mean, I, I came up with the, the military in, in the 90s, recognizing that, you know, our, our fight wouldn't be against armies uh, and, and physical beings in countries, but uh, against cyber terrorism and, and diverse uh, groups of people, terrorist groups around the world. So they had to come up with a new strategy and they identified that the environment, our challenge was that it's volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. The flip side of that, and I give credit to Bob Johansson for this from the Institute for the Future, uh, he came up with VUCA Prime. And the, the difference becomes that people who shift and don't get shifted uh, are, they have a vision, uh, they, which is the V, uh, the uncertainty becomes understanding. They, they are always pursuing knowledge and looking at opportunities and speaking to people and exploring things. And the C uh, goes from complexity to getting clarity. And, and I also talk about it as communicating with others. And then finally, the, the A, which is amb ambiguity, the solution becomes agility. Though I think that the, the, the big difference, and this sort of goes back to the first question. Wow, I love that. That, that was great. That, that, that people who are shifted uh, don't clearly have a vision. I mean, their vision is in the rear view mirror. They're looking in the past. So I, I think that starts it out, is that what's, what's the purpose? Where do you want to go? What's the strategy? What are you trying to fix? Uh, or what, if, or even more importantly, maybe what are they trying to make better? Because I think people who are trying to fix problems fall into a little bit of a trap. Uh, but people who are trying to find solutions uh, see opportunity and see a better world. Fantastic! That was that was a really wonderful um, set of acronyms and thinking about how you can really make those those shifts and what those letters and and what those letters mean and signify. So with Quantum Networks, it's our mission to provide a safe space for disruptors to discuss their wins and challenges with one another. And from your viewpoint, Ira, why is it important for disruptors to speak to one another, to have a space to share? Well, it goes back to the VUCA, you know, the VUCA versus VUCA prime. Uh, and and I, Bob Johansson also, and I know Charlene talks a lot about this in, in the book, uh, indirectly that we're, we're moving from a linear world uh, where we had problems. And if you did A, it won't, if, you, if you did A, 
if you had A, then B was the solution, or A, B, it was a choice between B or C, but there were, it, it was pretty straightforward that once you identified a pattern or once you identified a problem that you can fix it and go forward. We're, we're living in a world of dilemmas and, and where a dilemma doesn't have a solution, it can best be managed. And because of that, uh, we need to, it's always evolving, all the pieces are always changing. And because of that, we need to have a lot of eyes on the subject. There's not one organ, there's not one person, one organization, one industry, not even one country that can come up with the, the best way to manage something. It takes a lot of collaboration uh, to be able to do that, to, to get a lot of different perspectives, you know, going back to the VUCA prime is, is understanding and clarity. You get understanding and clarity by involving a lot of people and having a lot of conversations and, and uh, being able to make mistakes. And, uh, you know, I love the concept of the future customer. You know, that, yeah. sort of sums, that sort of sums it up is who's the, who's the non-customer? Who's the future customer? Uh, that's not even being served right now, rather than trying to, uh, you know, compete for the same people. So uh, again, I think what Quantum Networks does is allows a community uh, where everybody is allowed to uh, challenge one another, listen, observe, ask questions, um, just throw out an idea and, and get feedback on it. Um, because that's, that's really a beauty. That's, that's going to be where that's, that is our future. If, if, if we don't, if we don't collaborate, we don't ask questions, we don't take chances. Um, I, I'm not, I, I don't know where, I, I don't think we're going anywhere fast. <laughs> so we can accelerate and make meaningful changes when we come together as a community and, and take the time to, to ask questions and, and to support one another. Absolutely. Yes, for sure. Well, Ira, you are such a star, and thank you so much for taking the time to, to chat with us today and keep up your amazing work. Thanks very much. I'm honored and humbled to be part of the group and uh, to call Charlene my friend and you as well. Uh, I, I, again, good luck, everybody. Appreciate it. And as I say, don't let the shift hit your plans. <laughs> thank you so much, Ira.